Hello, today I'd like to reveal what's um, inside um, this kind of uh, suitcase and uh, as you can see that's not a normal um, case like a uh, tool case or something like this it's a well rather small case I thought it looks a little bit bulky on my desk but just as a comparison if we take a Commodore 64 keyboard and put this on top of this case you can see that the case is uh, smaller than uh, the keyboard itself so a real C64 wouldn't uh, fit into the box and um, that's quite okay -ish. that's uh, really good so and I'm um, just talking briefly uh, where I get uh, where I got this box from and uh, perhaps you can see it I thought it's a little bit shiny but here it's written EVS technology and um, this is uh, made by TerraTech and uh, that's a well kind of a well-known older company pr producing stuff for uh, PCs and uh, this case was used as a package for a sound card and the sound card was called EVS and uh, it was I think one of the first uh, uh, multi-channel sound cards it came with a couple of um, different uh, options and um, the biggest version was uh, shipped in this in this case so and um, I kept this for all the years I think it's about well 15 maybe almost 20 years and um, usually I store my um, Nintendo Wii games in, in the case but now I found something different and um, if you have uh, seen one of my previous episodes where I was uh, trying to get the C64 Mini as a uh, kind of portable device which uh, was well successfully and um, you may already guess what's what's going to be inside the box and uh, therefore let's just uh, open it and um, I was looking for something to get all my C64 mini stuff in one place and take it with me and um, this um, kind of uh, suitcase or whatever um, works pretty well for this purpose and uh, so let's just open it and as you can see um, here's the original C64 mini joystick which is a little bit bulky in this setup so I'm not really uh, happy with this one but uh, anyway, and then I got a gamepad, which is um, for the second player. And um, this is actually more compact compared to the uh, joystick. And um, I found them uh, on, on eBay, so they're pretty cheap. I think about um, 12 to 15 uh, euros or dollars or whatever. And uh, so I'm, I'm going to get another one and um, use this for my portable setup because this is really much more compact and uh, it would fit into the case even better. But uh, for now, let's just uh, put it aside. And um, this is just for kind of protection because the keyboard is painted and I want to keep it as, uh, as long as possible in a quite good shape. And um, here you can see that um, even the small C64 Mini um, is, is smaller than the suitcase, so there's, there's even some space left. And uh, here in the corner I have a 12-volt um, power bank, which is a pretty old one as well. It's about 5 to 6 years old and it has less than half of the capacity it was shipped. Uh, usually it had about, it had about um, 10,000 milliampere hours if this is the right unit well let's let's check yes so um, 37 uh, watt hours and it can output um, 12 volt with um, 2 ampere so 2000 milliampere so that's that's more than enough to power the whole setup and um, I had this uh, suitcase and the mini with me at the uh, at a kind of uh, well, happening convention, whatever. Uh, Die lange Nacht der Computerspiele, the long night of computer games in Leipzig. And we used this setup to play games as well. And in total, I reached about, well, let's say, 
two to three hours um, gaming time with this um, well kind of uh, broken or well kind of well yeah old power bank and um, well the interesting thing is that um, the power bank is uh, power uh, is just powering the the screen and the screen has a five volt DC USB output which I use to uh, power the C64 Mini and uh, therefore it's really kind of a lean setup and uh, this setup will work with any 12 volt um, battery which you can uh, get quite cheap on the market and um, so especially for RC tools or toys or something like this it's really not an issue and uh, so actually what I just want to show you is that um, I, I kind of mounted the display using um, double-sided adhesive tape to the back of this um, this case and uh, due to this uh, kind of soft inlay uh, everything stays quite well in, in, in place and uh, so the mini is actually not mounted to the case at all and uh, even the battery is kind of free but um, due to this especially bulky HDMI cable, everything remains on its place. So there's some room for improvement. So saying a shorter cable, for example, for the 12 volt and a more compact cable for the HDMI would uh, free up a lot of space in this case uh, for maybe additional controllers or maybe bigger batteries, whatever and um, USB sticks, whatever you think about. And um, the next improvement would be a 16 to 9 uh, screen. Since this is a 4 to 3 screen, everything is a little bit uh, kind of uh, compressed. So the, the picture format is not right uh, now. But um, having, having this much space in this case uh, would will either lead to the idea to have a smaller case i mean if you just uh, move the battery to this side and place the game pads on top then the case could be smaller as well or maybe a bigger screen for example and then uh, you have a lot of uh, fun with this set setup it's uh, probably quite uh, light weighted so it's uh, easy to carry with uh, with this handle here so um, we spent about well almost five hours at the convention and I had no issues um, carrying this with me so and that's that's a pretty neat setup which would uh, work in any car for example as well so using the power bank as kind of an adapter to connect um, the power bank to your car a 12 volt DC system which is quite often a little bit more than 12 volt then uh, you have a good kind of a filter thing or you just connect the car um, DC to the to the screen since this is a car screen anyway so and then you have your, you've got your 5 volt DC for the C64 mini and then you're well set for gaming in, in the car as well and um, well that's basically all I want to show today it's a kind of a quick and short video and uh, if you have any questions about the components, whatever, feel free to use the comment section. And if you have any ideas how to improve the setup, I mean, I have to fix this uh, case a little bit. So as you can see, it's already a little bit rotten, but <laughs> that's um, the second step. Then, well, feel free to use the comment section. And um, as usual, thank you very much for uh, watching. And uh, if you want to stay informed about the uh, next progress, uh, what I have done with the minis, uh, then uh, feel free to subscribe. And um, therefore, bye bye.